Hello, everyone. <laughs> I knew y'all were going to laugh at that. Okay. Uh, welcome to On the Edge. I'm Kate Worth. <laughs> Here with two amazing guests, not one, but two. And I think probably two people that actually like condiments on their hot dogs. Jeremy and Val Collins. Hi, you two. How are you? <laughs> What's up, Kel? What's up? <laughs> I'm I so can't wait to, to talk see about you guys. <laughs> Are you so excited? There's so much. Oh, <laughs> There's so much. Yeah. There's so... Um, uh, yeah, this... Uh, okay, okay. I, I want to know, first of all, because we want to get into it, but I want to know, first of all, how are you both doing? Good. We're doing good. good. Really good. Yeah. Busy, but good. really good. Yeah, because yeah, you have four kids. So one's out of the house right now. Two. Two of one them. Is Oh, two are out. Okay, both the girls are out. Okay, okay. So you just got the boys then. Well, I mean, All right, good. By out, we mean they're in college. You know, they're not like moved out. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like what, that one's playing yeah, soccer. Yeah, you're no she's longer responsible for... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she's a senior, and then we have our... our right that's can Jordan, and then... Okay. Yeah, we get you. Um, so then we have Cameron. She's a freshman in college. She's playing basketball. And uh, yeah, then we have two boys, seven and eight year old. We started all over. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a crazy life, but it's good. That's so crazy, you guys. Seriously, I mean, I remember in Cambodia when Val came out, it was pregnant, and now we're like so many years later. Doesn't time just fly? That's wild. Oh it, my it's god! Crazy. It's um, eight years ago. But, okay, let's get into the episode. I know. That's what I'm saying. Does it seem like that long ago? Not really. No, 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 not at all. It's all a blur. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I know it's all a blur. It just it just blurs together. Okay, let's talk Survivor forty seven episode five. There was a lot, a lot to unpack here. A great vote out at the end. I don't want to jump to it, but Annika's reaction. Like, I think we have to. Hard. That w I love no, it. We'll talk about it. Well, 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 okay. Well, I just feel like that was like the most emotional uh, vote out I've seen in a while. I no? think so too. She was no, truly no, no. blindsided. I know sometimes that the the producers will put like hashtag blindside on the screen and you're going, that wasn't really a blindside. Don't try and make us feel like every vote out is a yeah. blindside, but this one, she had no idea. And I yeah. felt really bad. She, I will say, so, if, I mean, I know we're going to jump around, but I've told her, I said, I feel like everybody that plays Survivor should, should feel a blindside like that and feel that heartbreak. You know what I mean? I feel like that's part of the game, and and everybody thinks they're really good uh, until you, you know, you get that humble pie. You know what I mean? And then you get that heartbreak. And I feel like everyone <laughs> deserves a little bit of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. But you mean yeah, that because we're all when you're playing Survivor, or do you mean like a blindside? Like if someone in your alliance gets no, I mean like a blindside. You should get blindsided and feel that pain and heartbreak. Once, huh? I do. I feel this part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I <was> like, I... <laughs> Val, you feel differently. You feel differently. I feel like uh, a blindside still is if someone in your alliance that you're close to gets voted out. No, but then you still feel like, oh, I, I'm, I'm good at this game. Like I got to do vote. you though? You you every, you're good when you get blindsided. Thinks, and no, no, you're you the blindsided. Yeah. Yes, I feel like every everybody thinks they're good. Everybody thinks they're good in the game. Until really? yes, until you get smacked in the face, and then you're like, "Oh man!" Like I thought I was gonna win in uh, San Juan del Sol. I was like, "I'm gonna win this game." Mm -hmm. And that night, I was sent home, and I was like, "Oh my god, that hurt." Kelly, do you think everybody thinks they're that good? I think that Survivor player, players do have a certain type of personality that oh. makes us a little bit delusional about yes. our skills. Yes, yes. I do. Yes. <laughs> but that's why we're cast. That's why. We, <laughs> yes, sure. yeah. But I think it is. I think it's different, though, for new players 
versus people that have played before. Be- well, I'm actually no, because I was blindsided with an idol in my pocket in my third season. So I guess no, the delusion is still there. <laughs> 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 it didn't go away it did not go away all right <laughs> but Val I can't remember in San Juan del Sur did you expect your vote out I mean yeah two idols come on it was ridiculous okay I was I was okay. absolutely okay ridiculous. and then and it, too like <laughs> I was I was not really playing my game I was so concerned about Jeremy's game even though I'll take full ownership on my fabrication about two idols um I mean, I just think it's, you know, and you know, it's a little different when you have like a loved one there than versus just worrying about yourself. So, but yeah, I wasn't surprised. Okay. So that's good. At least you were like, okay, this is potentially coming. And then Jeremy, <laughs> were you, I can't remember. Were you surprised in San Juan del Sur? Yes, I was. I, I, when, uh, oh, you were. I, okay. Okay. That day I said, I'm going to win this game. And I was like, I have a lot of work <laughs> to do, but we got rid of Josh. Then you know, what they're doing so I was like, I got this. You know what I mean? And then that's when Reed kind of like joined up with them and got me out. And I was, yeah, I was, I was shocked. So you were right on high. And that's the problem when you play Survivor. Yeah, you were, you were <laughs> devastated, I'm sure. But that's the thing when you're playing Survivor, you don't, it's really hard to see. Like when you are kind of feeling in that top spot. You're like, wow, like what could go wrong here? Whereas when you're playing yep. from the bottom, you're almost expecting it. So you're like, okay, like yeah. I just survived another one. Awesome. Yeah. It's a very yeah. different thing. Um, but you played that really well in Cambodia being in that top spot and just, you know, like I feel like you were very realistic about things, not the person that was like, oh, I'm in the top spot and I, I know it, even if you did. Like I think you did a really, really good job of, of managing all the relationships in that season. So and, and, and I'm giving I think you kudos here is what I'm saying. Why, the only reason why I think <laughs> I, I could, did, I, I played it like that was because I felt the heartbreak before. And so I didn't want to feel, I didn't want to ever say like, oh, I got this now. Like I always, the whole game, I'm like, like I, I'm going to lose. So it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? They're going to get me out at some point. You know what I mean? So I, I feel like you need that. You need that. Like like I, I was, I was feeling myself in San Juan del Sur, and, and you, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no way. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> well, Jeremy, you don't want to know what Val and I were doing while you were, you know, being voted out. We had our own little adventures on the pre-jury trip, so we don't need to get into that. But they should still be doing that, and they should be bringing cameras. That's all I'm gonna say. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> okay, so let's rewind. Let's rewind a little bit. Let's rewind because we went straight to the vote out because it was so uh, epic. But um, we start out the episode and we know that Teeny got blindsided. Rome is very upset with her. She's having to backpedal. And then we f- see later in the episode where she goes and she goes on this uh, reward, which we'll get more into that. But is Teeny in a position, like, is there any way for her to get out of this? Let's say they had to go to tribal council or was she dead in the water? Like, I feel like there was still room for her to navigate because Rome is always going to be that person that people are just annoyed with. Like, he's always going to be kind of that easy boat out. So I think that she was feeling really defeated, but I I really like Teeny. And the point I'm trying to make is that I think she's still in a really good position in the game. So how do you guys feel about Teeny and kind of that whole tribe, I guess? I mean, I think Teeny is in a good spot. I think that Rome is such a, a big character. Rome is always going to be the person that you can go after. And, you know, I, I, first, Rome, he drove me crazy. And then like the last episode, I was like, yo, he really kind of switched it on him. I was surprised that he was <laughs> able to pull that together, you know? And um, so, but I think, I think he's going to get in trouble because... Um, what is the other one's name? Um, so, Genevieve. Yeah. Genevieve is doing her thing out there, mm-hmm. and I think she's gonna be able to weave back and forth and and grab Rome now and then drop Rome and and uh, grab Saul and you know I think grab Teeny and Teeny will work with her and I think it's gonna be a good thing. Yeah, I loved in the episode when she said the, the scales be tipping. I'm like, yeah, the yeah. scales be tipping, and it's interesting to see what she'll do with <laughs> with. Uh, you know, when they merge, 
Yeah, I think she's going to do well. I think she's going to go far in this game. And at the beginning of the season, yeah, like, the last couple of episodes, I was like, who's Genevieve? I don't even remember who that was. And then the last like two episodes, I was like, oh, she's really playing. Like She's stepping it up. The scales be tipping. <laughs> The scales, scales, be, scales be tipping. Yeah, I, I really like her. I feel like producers hid her from us, the first couple. Yeah. And I thought, oh, no, another woman that's just going to, you know, we're going to get to merge and not know who she is. And she's going to go out, yeah. you know, in sixth or something. But she really emerged. I like her a lot. I think she's incredibly savvy in the game. I think to your point, she's going to be able to work with a variety of different people. Her personality is very, like, welcoming she's kind of this um yeah. shark like you don't really know she's coming i think and so I'm, yes. I'm really excited to see what she does and the thing with rome is that his lack of self-awareness is yeah. he <laughs> really <laughs> thinks that he <laughs> he think he is yeah. like i got my alliance i know what i'm doing and that can yeah. only take you so so far like that is going yeah. to get you at some point so Rome, sweetie. And he's very threatening. Like his episode with with uh, Saul oh, just yeah. being so threatening to him and giving ultimatums so early on was like blew my mind. Blew my mind. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's just a matter of time before people start to team up. And I think he's starting to do that with too many people that uh, once they merge, he'll have a target. Yeah. yeah. I was at the fire station yeah, watching I that episode. So too. Guys. And the guys, they're all like, uh, they're like, Jeremy, what would you do if if Rome did that to you, you know what I mean? Because Saul's like, <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> I mean, you know, out there, you gotta like, you gotta play it chill, you know what I mean? But like, I'm like, come on, like, you're not gonna talk to me like that, you know, you cut it out, you know what I'm saying? But you do have to play it cool. I think Saul played it all right, you know, you gotta chill out. Because you know who was kind of like that was, was Alec. Alec was running around. And mm. he was really full of himself. And I'm like, this dude is hilarious. Yo. He really thinks, like, he's like, go go get the fish over there and go clean up this and do this. And I'm like, who's this dude think he is? Like, he's terrible. You know what I mean? But um, I, I think I think Rome needs a little humble pie. You know what I mean? And and if he, if he mm -hmm. gets knocked down a little bit, I think he can do all right, you know? But he's full of himself right now. He, he does love himself. It's interesting, though, the way that producers are showing him, because I saw a secret scene posted this week, and it was him getting very emotional in a confessional, talking about how everyone in his family, all of his siblings are very successful, and he feels a lot of pressure because he didn't go to college. And so him being out here, he feels like he's proving a lot to himself. And I'm thinking, wow, that's a completely different person than what we're being shown and as we know, it's an yeah. ended show. He's obviously saying what he's saying and doing what he's doing. But it's just so funny when you sit back and you're like, wow, we're getting shown something for a specific reason. So does he go, like, is he going to be this guy with this massive ego? And then he just goes out like in flames, completely blindsided. And we're all like, yeah, you know, yeah. I kind of feel like that might be what happens because why, why yeah. would we be getting so much of him just acting like he is the king of the island? So. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. We'll and see. I think that's true. Like when you know, with how things how things are edited, like people bring to Survivor like all their stuff, all their trauma, all their triumphs there. And so, if he's someone in the family that has been kind of I don't want to say belittled, but if he's been in the shadows of other siblings, then him being so assertive on the show would make sense. Yeah, yeah. You know that he's trying to take it to a different level, and one hundred percent. You know, so we, I mean, like, I think I remember, uh, you know, uh, Jeff said to us in, in the, one of the interviews was about, you have these epiphanies in Survivor, you know, people realize they are going to leave a job, they're going to leave a relationship. And you you see that um, with some people more than others. And obviously the secret scenes show that a little bit. I didn't see that scene. So that's cool. Yeah, you should go look at it. It is really interesting. I was like, wow, that's like an, a different side of him. But you make a good point that you do learn a lot your, a lot about yourself on Survivor. And I think the thing too is that Survivor brings out maybe even these sides of you you didn't know you had. I know for myself, when I was growing up, I was very shy. I know, it's shocking. It really is shocking. I know. <laughs> but I, 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 like, I had such a small circle of friends. I would read books. I was very... I guess like nerdy, you know, whatever you want to say. And then as an adult, I really kind of found myself, but I felt like on Survivor, 
in those first few days of San Juan del Sur, I was so out of my element and so out of my comfort zone. I kind of reverted back to that person where I only like, like I kind of gravitated to Jeremy. I gravitated to Nat, but the other people I really didn't want anything to do with because I was so uncomfortable with myself. And I didn't really know that wow. until I got out of the game. So it's just interesting how people, to your point, Val, like you kind of, you almost take these things outside that you maybe wouldn't think about. And with Rome, I feel like he is doing that. He's, he's almost overcompensating for what he's yeah. feeling in the outside world. So that's, yeah, yeah. that's really interesting. That's a good you know point. what, Val, we, well, you know, just, we didn't see that out there in you. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't see you. Oh, really? Like, no, oh, I didn't see it at all. Like, no. I didn't see that okay. at all. You know, oh. and, and, uh, Oh my God. Like okay, we all God. said, you know, Kelly knows what she's doing. She's a fan of the show and this and that. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, well. and like smart, but like, like not like, like not like nerdy or anything. No, I, I told you, I thought you okay. were uh, a champion. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, complete I said, opposite. That's, that's, cheerleader. that's what I said. I said, that's a Seahawks cheerleader right there. <laughs> forgot you said that <laughs> oh my gosh that's too funny isn't it isn't it funny how in Ponder, ponderosa ponderosa alone you make so many assumptions about people yeah yeah it's that quiet time it's, it's that, crazy it's those crazy. quiet observations did you know what i was doing when i was out there for, for uh -huh. ponderosa like my plan was i wanted my hood on i wanted to look like like i was just mean you know like just like don't mess with that guy. You know what I mean? And like someone said they thought I was like an yeah. NFL player or something like that. And then when we got into the game, I wanted to like take my hood off mm -hmm. and smile and talk. And everybody be like, oh, he's a nice guy. Oh, oh, oh. And now I'm like, yes, I got him. I got him. You know, That's, that was my plan. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did a good job because I do remember you would because yeah you would just sit so quiet and just yeah. observing and our season was yeah, particularly so interesting true. because yeah. we had we had pairs we had pairs of people so it wasn't like you're looking at individuals yeah. I was sitting there going who is actually here together I think it was pretty obvious but at the same time I was like yeah, yeah. how are they related or what is their story so that was like a really interesting yeah. experience I think we had yeah, that was yeah. really cool. Ponderosa. Oh boy, we could do a whole podcast on Ponderosa, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll leave that for another time. Um, I want to talk about the I want I want to talk about the twist, you guys, the challenge twist that Jeff love said it. we've love never it. done this, and I was like, yeah, right, okay, right. But I loved it. I loved it. I loved the twist. Yeah. I thought they were gonna. I thought they were gonna go from three tribes to two tribes, which I. Oh shoot, my water bottle. Um, I thought they were gonna go from three tribes to two tribes, which I was cool with. I was like, nice, we've never done three to two. I'm cool with it. And mm -hmm. then when Jeff told us the twist and said, oh, we're actually gonna have you guys all mix and then one group's gonna go. I was like, I'm here for this. I absolutely loved it. Yes. I, yeah. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I loved even more like, I, like so when you're talking about Teeny and the fact that she like spilled the beans on everything at, at um, their social, the social gathering, so that's a whole different, like, I, when you say, like, you know, you like her and you think she'll do well, I'm like, but will she? Because she just showed possibly that she's not loyal. She possibly showed, she put put so much out there that I wonder how that will, I wonder how people feel about that coming into, uh, if they'll use her or if they'll look at that as somebody that they can't trust. Yeah. So um, I think, I you know, I think Tiana's in trouble for that. Oh, I think, yeah, I think she she's too. even more in trouble for that. Same. Um, I mean, but that all depends on, I think that all depends on um, who, if people like, like, um, like Gabe or don't like Gabe. Yeah. But if Sue likes Gabe, so Sue's already doing her thing, trying to tell everybody like, yo, she was in front of everybody talking. So, I don't know. I think, I think Tiana's in trouble because of that. I think she's going to be even more than Teeny. I think. Yeah, I agree. Tiana's going to be in trouble. But I loved it. But why that did Tiana great. do that? Because she had 
she had three other people from her tribe there. Oh, that was really bad strategy. I did not understand it at all. I thought if she was there with maybe one, one other person and they were a really tight alliance and no one else would know that she had spilled the beans, I'm thinking, yeah. okay, cool. But the fact that she had Sue there, she had Caroline, she had Kyle, it was like, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. This is going yeah. to get back to Gabe. Yeah. This yes. is going to. Very easily, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you've got three people that could potentially tell him what happened. And then she yeah. goes back to camp, and Caroline's trying to kind of, you know, oh, a merge is coming, and we've got to stick together, so I'm going to get the family back together. And she tells um, Tiana, you know, go and tell Gabe the truth. Tiana still gives him half-truth, and then yes. he's like, Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's like, why, even, why yeah. even apologize? Like, don't even apologize. Because yeah, it's just, yeah. You didn't say anything. You just lied again. Yeah. I shouldn't say again, but she... It like, was really what? Bad. Like, why did you say anything? Oh, yeah, it, was it, was really it was really bad. Yeah. I think, uh, you know who I think did really well in that was Caroline. Caroline yeah. I think Caroline did a... I think, uh, I think Caroline did a really good job... Uh, Telling her, telling Tiana, like, yo, you got to go fix that. You know what I mean? And sh I think she's in a really good spot, too. I like her. I think she's playing low-key, behind the scenes, and just trying to build her her, her chess pieces. You know what I mean? All her pawns and trying to figure out for the long game. You know, I think she's going to do well. Yeah, she's trustworthy. Obviously, she went to Tiana. Tiana listened to her, and she... And uh, I think that people look, will look at her as a genuine person. I think she'll fly under the radar. Yeah, flying under the radar is huge. I think so, too. I think she started out a little slow. I wasn't sure what to expect from her, but I've been impressed the past episode specifically. I think she did a really good job. And she's thinking a few steps ahead, thinking about the merge and how I, you know, we need to have numbers. So let's not fracture now let's make sure that we can have something going into this situation so i like her and listen i'm gonna tell you what right now sue that is someone you want on your side that sue is ride or die yes, yeah. okay she is. yeah sue is loyal uh, gabe picked so a good loyal. one mm -hmm. yes yes he did she's loyal and so yeah, yeah she's so, like i mean it's interesting how many of them make it over in the next week who stays and who goes I think merge is next week. I think so. I think, yeah. I think so. I th yeah. So five people. That's that's a good number. One thing I like about this season is that it hasn't been just a total tribe being decimated. I love that every tribe has had to go to tribal council. Yeah. Yeah. I, we were saying that. I was saying that to him earlier. I said, you know, this season, everybody seems like pretty fit too. It's not like a lot of people are like, oh, that's the weak one. Let's take them out. They all seem like they're like pr pretty smart players. And um, so I'm like, it's like a good balance. There's a really good balance of that, of, of, you know, those dynamics to help each tribe. So I think that's why we're seeing like more of a, you never know who's going to lose this one because they're all so closely matched as far as physical and I think mental. Yeah. And mm -hmm. even the I people think that so you too. think yeah, are I think mental, that's helping. this season is good. I the people that you think that are mental, like, huh, like they're possibly on the, I don't want to say weaker side, but possibly not uh, as savvy. They are actually playing it like they're not savvy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're, yeah, they, yeah. That they are savvy. So there's a lot, I think there's a lot better um, potential gameplay to come. Are I mean, you talking talk about, about Andy? Andy? <laughs> what I, mean, I think people said at the same time jinx <laughs> yes. yes i mean it was the theatrics for the rope cutting was wow that was way oh, to go are we, are we, what did you do? i don't know what you're are we, are we, are we, of all, like things happening <laughs> sounds and motions i mean really oh we were gonna get here eventually Okay, we were we were we were gonna reach we were gonna reach this point, y'all. And uh, I have it in a big big note big note on my paper with a big circle around it. Um, what what was that uh, technique, if you will? Um, it, uh, it was interesting. the fact that he was using the um, <laughs> the bad side. The bad side. Yeah. I feel like that could have seen, at first. I was like, is this intentional? Because like to be actually that theatrical and then not actually. Roll? What? 
Yeah. Are geez. we for real? Like, be so for real on this. This is not really happening um, on CBS. He's trying to set up his OnlyFans. He's getting ready for OnlyFans. <laughs> so. He's brilliant. He is He is far more brilliant than we're giving him credit for. That, that's, yeah. that, must yeah. be yes. that must be it, Jeremy. It was a train wreck at the beginning. He, like, that was... That was tough to watch that first episode. That was really tough. But that, like he came, he came around. Like in Rome too. Like Rome's been tough, but he came around. You know what I mean? Like I feel like sometimes too, you get that like broke open moment, and then you settle it. Yeah, you know, you, yeah. You, like if you can get past that moment, like sometimes you get that moment, and then they get you out of there. But if you can get past it, and then you settle in, and you can start moving, and that's when you can uh, get far in the game. You know? Yeah. Now, what was harder to watch? Uh, Andy's no. breakdown in episode one, or Andy thrusting the knife in episode uh, listen, five. <laughs> I'm him thrusting. I'm I scratch my eyes out. Like I don't want to see that. You know what I mean? I don't even want to think about it anymore. <laughs> and from all angles, yes. Like from all angles, what the heck? Isn't this a family show? Yeah. I was like, okay, the aerial view, the side view, uh, like, what the heck? Uh, listen, there might have been a lot of lessons last night. Like, listen, kids, now's the time to have the talk, okay? Uh, this, is, this is what happens when two people love each other, okay? So. <laughs> Very uncomfortable to watch uh, oh, early in the evening. I wanted to, um, I wanted to ask you, uh, okay. last week, Rome. That was clearly he was throwing that challenge, right? Clearly, I don't think nope. so. Get out of here! There's no way. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Huh? I, I. Well, Arlen and I were sitting on the couch, and Arlen is hilarious to watch Survivor with, by the way, because he's you know he's got <laughs> some some takes. All right, he's giving us right. opinion. Right. Y'all know to, Arlen. He's get, he's. You guys need to come visit us. We need to visit with you. (laughs) I know. We need to get out there. I know. We love you guys so much. Seriously, we like your relationship is the best. Um, we need to. We need to. But we're not going to go to Patriots game. So don't. (laughs) Yeah, you don't want to go to Patriots game. If we come out there, we're not going to a football game. No, no. They're going through a little transition, but let's not hate. It's tough to watch. Let's let's not hate. It's a transition. It's a transition. Mm. We're still a dynasty. We're still a dynasty. And, there, and, there, and there's that. There's rings. There's rings. That's all I want to say. There's Listen, rings. Val, the Seahawks won the Super Bowl once, you know, so we're going to hold on to that for the rest of our lives over here. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to hold yeah, on no. to that. I mean, yeah. in the dynasty, you know, we're going through a transition. It happens. All all great dynasties, they, they go through it. Yeah. We rebuild. <laughs> but we stay loyal. They fall and then they build them. We stay, we stay loyal. We try it. I mean, we do have an NBA. I love you guys. We do have an NBA championship too. So I mean, title town, <laughs> title town. Just saying. I mean, we don't even have a basketball team. So listen, we're we're just we're devastated over here. We're not we're not doing well in Seattle. I want you to know that right now. It's truly. And they they said they gave us the middle finger. They're like, we don't care. Um, <laughs> Sorry, we got we got off course. We, we were talking about Andy. What were we talking about? I don't even remember now. Um, oh, we, we went so we were talking about Andy. Oh, yeah, what was worse? What was worse? Was be- you were asking me something about Rome. Oh, the challenge. We were talking about the challenge. Um, okay. So yep. Arlen yes. and I were watching last. We were watching last week, and we both look at each other and we go, "This has he. This cannot be serious. He has to be throwing this. There's no way." And then. With each passing second, as it got near the end, I thought, no, I think he really is this bad. Because then at the end, no. he genuinely seems like he wanted, he seemed like he wanted, he doesn't, he, Rome is not the type, his ego will not allow him to not try and win something. I agree. I agree. Um, I agree. The only thing with that. Uh oh. Jeremy's is, about to give it to us. Uh oh. Okay. Especially, especially when Go he's ahead, so Jeremy. polarizing. He's so polarizing. He could be out. Yeah, but I think he had. He could have been. Genevieve, out. Genevieve was passing him the puzzle pieces. So I'm like, he knows he has Genevieve in on this. I think his ego was going to be like, you know what? I'll take this hit on this. But when I tell everybody we did that on purpose, then his ego's 
He's feeding his ego again. But he wouldn't even said that. He didn't even say that. I know, but I, so if he thought he was that smart and he was like planning to be like, this is going to be my finale. This is going to be like, you know, the final tribal. I'm going to say like, what moves did I do? He would have already said that. He doesn't have that to hold it. We'll have to see at the end of the season because we don't okay. know if he had a had a interview that he said all that and they just didn't show. We don't know. Okay, we'll see. I don't agree, but we'll see. Okay, I like the difference of opinion. I <laughs> think they would have shown the audience if he threw it. If he did a confessional and said he threw it, I think they would have shown us. Look at Jeremy. Val, he's giving us a side eye. He does not believe. I, I, agree with I, yes. so. I just don't think so. I agree. With he was sitting there so you, one so you're piece at a time. And stuff. He, he's sitting there. One piece at a time, and he's trying all these different angles and stuff, and then passing it back. There was no urgency at all. Like, I'm like, there's no way. Like, he's not even throwing it in a good way. It doesn't even look like he's throwing it. Like, it, it looks like he's throwing it toward it. It, it looked like it. Uh, I don't agree. Oh, I, don't I, don't think, I don't think that his ego would allow that to happen. And I don't think he wants to look like he – I don't think that he would risk that. All right. All right. I do. I, I have to take Val's side on this one. I do. And Jeremy, now we have been a part of a challenge where someone tried to throw it. Okay. Do you want to touch you back? The San Juan del Sol? Yes. Because you and I were not in that challenge. And I specifically remember we were sitting out and we were on the little float where Jeff was. And I just remember the whole time him throwing F-bombs the whole time, basically at Drew being like, what the F are you doing? Why are you yeah. effing this so bad? I was like, yes. it was bad. So yes. you know what it looks like yes. to throw a challenge. And you really think Rome was throwing that challenge? I do. I do. I think he was throwing it. Okay. Thank you. Rome is not Drew, though. Rome is not Drew. <laughs> Drew's a special case. Yeah. <laughs> he, and that's risky. It's risky I just remember. Well, okay. Never. No, no. What do you remember? It's what do you very, remember? It's I, very risky because you. Well, I don't want to blow up anyone's spot, but I think it's been long enough. Do you remember? <laughs> this is what this podcast is for. It's nothing bad. Do but it, do you remember do when. It, do um, it. <laughs> Do you remember? Do you, do you remember? You know I'm here for starting drama. Do you remember, <laughs> Jeremy? Were you there when Drew was <laughs> Drew was napping in the shelter? Yes. And this is no shade. This is just facts. Okay. Drew was mm -hmm. napping in the shelter, and one of the producers came up and tr said, "It's time for you to do a walk." And he said, "Yes, no, I'm not doing it." And yeah. then I think after that, he no longer went for walks. Yeah. So, yeah. um. The point is, if you go on Survivor, you have to play by the rules yeah. because you may no longer be on producer's good side, and then you'll try and throw a challenge yeah. and you'll get voted out. So that's what yeah. I'm trying to yeah. That's the truth. I remember that. I remember that. they were, He was laying in the that's shelter, true. and someone came to me. Who Was it Nat? It might have been Nat. And she was like, yo, you got to talk to him. He's not trying to go. So I went to him, and I'm like, yo, Drew, you got to tell your story, man. What are you doing? Like, they, They're waiting for you to... Mm -hmm. to, to go on a walk and you're not going, that's crazy. This is your story. And and he looked at me, he was like, all right, man, all right. And he got up and he went and said, I'm ready for my walk. And they were like, no, you're all set. And I was like, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what happened. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, on your terms? I don't think so, sweetie. Not yes, yes. Yep, I, I that remember that. Mm -hmm. that was bad. And then, uh, <laughs> he went home not long after that. Not that we were told to send him home, everybody. That's not what we're saying here. It just, it just was a kind of funny sequence of events. If, if uh, yes. Yes, yes, we're being honest. So, yes, yeah, that was awesome. Um, okay, <laughs> let's go back. Let's go back to the. Let's go. Let's go back to the, the Survivor Happy Hour. We're we're going back in time a little bit. Um, okay. Love the concept. We've already talked about that. I love the idea yeah. of, of watching people decide what they're going to tell because it's still a competition. You're not together yet. So what are you going to tell? They gave them um, also one hot dog each. One hot dog. 
dry. Dry. How does that make you feel? I would have toasted my bun too. <laughs> so that's the first that's thing I said. I go, ah, oh, I would have toasted my bun. At least. That's what she said. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. Well, that I bread, the bread didn't look bun. good. Yeah, the bread, I would have toasted You try to toast that bread, that thing disintegrates. That thing's oh, gone. Oh. Of all things. It looked bad. Nitrate like, oh. builds. <laughs> One hot dog. Hot dog. Like, not good. One no. dry hot dog a piece. <laughs> now, beggars can't be choosers. All right, you're going to eat what you get. But I did think Survivor, you can give him a little ketchup. You no. can give him a little Stop mustard. It. I mean, come on. Give him some condiments a little bit. Something. 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 Oh. That, that was bad. Uh, poor Arlen was sitting there. I thought he was going to lose his mind. He's like, no condiments. It's <laughs> <laughs> criminal. <laughs> He's like, wait, wait till you see the hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's immediate jail time. <laughs> Why are you doing that to him? <laughs> Not fair. Um, yeah. So listen, I like, I, I would have eaten it. We would have, we would have all eaten it. It's fine. But I did feel oh, like, yeah. I mean, come on. It's a little bit silly, you know? Yeah. And then, and then, but then, but then they were willing to give Kyle a veggie dog, which looked like absolute shit. I don't know what that was, but it was absolutely disgusting. And um, I am glad that they are accom accommodating, at least. That was nice. Yeah. I was like, you're going to eat yeah. that? that was I don't know about a vegetarian Fijian dog, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I support all lifestyles. Yeah, I, su yeah. I support it. Hey, it's fine. It just was, that was a lot. Um, <laughs> I knew you were going to talk about the chickens. Yeah, oh, yeah the right. chickens and the eggs. What do you think about the? Um, oh, we have to talk about the chickens. Negotiating the chickens and the eggs because we yes. were terrible okay, this, at negotiating. This was on my list because we were a part of a negotiation, which was yes. absolutely horrific. I've tried to block it from my memory. All right. Because anytime I see that, anytime I see that clip, I it's like I'm transported right back into that painful. <laughs> and, and I don't even remember. We lost the Flynn and then we, and then, and then Drew took it upon himself to, to handle the negotiation. I do think that, that Jeff is, no, I don't want to say Jeff has gotten soft. I do think this was a bad negotiation on Jeff's part. I think that um, so I I think that they should have he should have got more eggs they should, definitely should have got more I think what's his name um um um, um Sam what Sam Sam, Sam. should have got more eggs than that. yes yeah. he should have got more eggs than that wait wait yes. wait wait hold on okay we're gonna have differing opinions on this okay yes they had chickens it's their yes, the choice. Chicken. Not to eat them. When did we start being like, we can just negotiate and trade our things? You get what you get. True. And you don't get upset. True. He he is getting soft on that. But I get it because, you know, some people are vegetarians and stuff. And like, but it, it is soft. Like back in the day, they'd be just like, oh, then don't eat, then don't eat the chickens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, he's getting soft. He's getting soft. But in saying that he's getting soft in the situation that we're in, he he could have gotten more. Uh, Sam could have got more eggs than that. Follow me on this, right? Meaning, how many more? Eggs? So, I, I, I they got eighteen. Give eggs. Us, yeah, give us your thought process. Tell us. Okay. Tell so, us how, you, so, how you're breaking down the math here. All right, Kelly's Jeff. How are you negotiating this? Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, come on, I'm Jeff. Let's go. Let me go get he my said, wig. I'm ready. 20, <laughs> twenty-four eggs, right? He said twenty-four eggs, and he said so. That's eight per. Per chicken, eight eggs per chicken, and then mm -hmm. Sam went and just throw like twenty. He he threw a number, whatever. He, no, he threw a twenty because Jeff. He said twenty four. If if he stayed with the what Jeff was doing and stayed with per chicken, I think he could have got the twenty or twenty one eggs. Because if he says, "All right, uh, five eggs per chicken," and then. He could be like, well, I want seven eggs per chicken. You know what I mean? And then they would have been, all right, what about six? And that's 18 eggs. And he could be like, all right, let's just go to 19 eggs. So very minimum, he could have got 19 eggs. Minimum. I, mean, I think you're giving Jeff credit that he'll go negotiate for much longer than he already did. He's negotiating. So like, he likes to negotiate. He likes to negotiate. I he agree. loves that stuff. I agree, Val. He, doesn't have, he didn't have to negotiate at all. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. He does love that stuff, but he did not have to negotiate. He could have said too bad. I mean, you, they got the best reward, the three chickens. Yeah. 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 They should have ate those chickens. Those chickens are so good out there. Uh, it's, it's a lot of work. Oh. It's so it's. Either. It's so good. It is a lot of work, but it's worth it because because it's not just the chicken. So, you can use the broth. the broth. You can. I mean, there's. You can get a lot of meals from that chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could feel but, it. Like as soon as you eat it, you're like, oh man, I can feel so much stronger. And that's three chickens. Can you imagine three chickens? Wow. And I'm gonna say something. Two. Well, there's two things I want to say. Um. Arlen called this out when we were watching the episode. He said they started the negotiation or they started the conversation so poorly because Sierra said, well, they've only given us three and two of them squished and one. Like, why are you coming with the bad part of the situation? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're right. Yeah. That was the problem. So that already was like. You, they should have been like, yeah, they're laying for us. And so we're getting the eggs, but we just don't want to eat the chicken. So we'd rather just like, I, it started out very, very poor. Yeah. They should have came with some, they should have came with some um, moral reason why the, why the chickens were not the right reason for them to keep them morally. We're, you know, we're compelled to give these chickens back to see, and we would like to negotiate. They should have, they, their opening statement was horrible. Yeah, yeah. It was horrible. You're right. But it's still was gonna, but they yeah, still it was just end. not the thing to do. But that's why I'm surprised I got so many eggs. <laughs> because they and Jeff, Jeff, did, Jeff, did, didn't, Jeff didn't need them. They needed no, Jeff. No, Jeff no. didn't need them. He could have been like, no. no, you each get one egg. No. That's it. Yes. yes. Take it or leave it. Yes. Because you're telling me that your chickens <laughs> are squishing your eggs. Do you remember <laughs> when Jeff came? Were you, wait a second. It might have been after the... The swap, try to swap, because when we, Jeff came and took all our stuff, were you on that? You might have been that gone. Was, you might have been at the, you might have been on the other side. Wow, Jeremy, thank you so much. Just stick the knife a little deeper and remind no, me. On the you tribe. Know. You were on the other tribe. I said on the other <laughs> tribe. <laughs> Because, oh, yes, I was you know, there. Kelly, yeah. you and my wife were like off, not on the island. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Still in the game. You were just on the other tribe. That's all. Welcome to my world. Welcome, welcome to my world. That's not what I said. Do you, <laughs> you remember this? Do you remember this happened? I was like, mm, no. That's not what I, I, I said. I made That's six days. I remember? I, I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, no, my remember. God. It's yeah. fine. We that that is not what I said. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Oh, we listen, Jeremy, we forgive you. It's fine. But no, I, I remember from watching the episode. Yes. <laughs> he took everything. And we had, one, oh yeah, because we had one, like one day we merged after that. And I'm like, yo, he's he's just going to take all our stuff. What do you, y'all, we could go to sleep. Not, we don't need to eat more. We ate so much. We could go to sleep. Oh. Like, what are we doing here? Can we, can we here? talk about... Can we talk Even about it? how much we ate? <laughs> oh my god! It was on the the amount of food that Missy would make oh. every day, and then I have to be honest with you, I I actually wasn't even hungry. And then when they started adding the salt water into it, it was so salty. I was like, I can't. You guys, we would y'all. Anyone listening is going to be so appalled. We would waste food. We literally waste would not eat the beans and rice. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> food left in pots. I'm like, why, how was the food left in there? Like, it was crazy. It was, we ate so much. <laughs> it, was, it was so bad. <laughs> and we tried. I, I think Jeremy and I were both like, maybe we should cut back. Yes. But Missy was yes. so motherly and wanting everyone yes. to be full. And we're like, yeah, but babe, okay, you like think about the rationale here. We have yeah. one bag of rice. We were told we have one bag of rice for all season. Now we're all assuming we're going to get to the end. So we all want there to be rice, right? Obviously not mm -hmm. all of us made it. Hi, <laughs> it's fine. It's foul. We're, we're in good company. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. But it was, it was, it was just the stupidest, you know, and then me, I had the lovely pleasure of then being swapped and going to the other mm -hmm. tribe with Missy, who then my father, who's a little bit more, uh, uh, um, opinionated than me, which I know, again, that's also shocking, um, was like not having it. 
He's like, why are we cooking yeah. so much rice? And I'm like, listen, listen, this has been my life the last 12 days. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's a lot. Missy would say, so, she would say, uh, no, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Just, so, everyone, we just, we just want to eat. We need to eat. So it's fine. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. It was wild. We ate so much. <laughs> So yes. much food. Oh, That's what I'm saying. So much we would, it would sit in the pot. We would sit in the pot. Yeah. Yeah. Wasting food. Yeah. 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 I don't think it was because of That's that, nasty. though. No, no, maybe not. Maybe not. It was, <laughs> it, was, it was bad. It was bad. But I think we can agree to disagree on the negotiation. I think that Jeff should have been a little bit harsher. You think that Sam should have asked for more. I think they should have just eaten the damn chickens. Yes. 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 We agree yes. on that. We agree on that. Because here's my thing. I could get it, right? Mom? Not... The, I think none of them are primarily driven by Sierra. Is she vegetarian or anything? Well, so this is going to be my next point because I've been on multiple seasons with chickens. All right. We had Kimmy in Cambodia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who did you did you let Juicy J free? I did. <laughs> I, did. <laughs> I did. That was so fun that day. That was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> so remind me, you guys only had you only had one you had one chicken? I think we ate a chicken. And okay. then, yeah, because we had a chicken. We, we, we might have had two chickens, and we ate one. Okay. And then okay. Juicy was just like, she was getting smaller and smaller. And I'm like, yo, she's starving. Like, we're killing this chicken. I'm like, let's just yeah. eat it. And I don't know why. We, we should have ate it. And then I said, I, it was so fun. I got up in the morning, and I went over there, <laughs> and I, like, let her out. I'm like, Juicy J is <laughs> going free. Like, she's free. <laughs> so then I'm like, so then I let her go and I go back and lay down and I'm laying there. And then Juicy J's walking back up to camp. I'm like, go, yo, you got freedom. Get out of here. You're like, go in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't, I don't think chickens are known for being the, the smartest. Oh, Absolutely not. No, I, you Absolutely. Know. I, I think the thing with the chickens, I, th I think the thing, I think the thing that I get, I get the moral issue, but where I kind of, where I kind of run into a problem is that if, if you are a vegetarian, right, I totally get it in your regular life. You don't eat meat. I get it for everyone else, for all of us other, you know, jerks who eat meat every day and love it. Like I get, there's a disconnect, right? Cause when we see a chicken in the store, we don't really think of rewind and think about how it got there. I grew up on a farm. Yeah. So I think I'm, yeah. I, 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 you know, and we had cows that we would raise and then we, they would go, they would go to slaughter. And that's what our freezer was full of. You know, I, I mean, yeah. I wasn't doing the slaughtering, but that's what happened. And so I kind of yeah. have a little bit of a different perspective on it. And so I think it is a little bit hard sometimes when people are saying, Oh, Morley, I can't do it. But it's like, do you eat chicken in your regular life? Because to be honest with you, doing it this way is actually better because you know where the food is coming from you're doing it yeah. yourself you almost have a better appreciation for it yeah. than what you get from the store when it's literally just like mass killing and it ends yeah. up on your plate at home so yeah. that's where it's a it's like a little bit of a tricky thing for me and i think at the end of the day i say just eat the damn chicken yeah yeah, yeah. just eat it that's it so, and it's so good and you need that's it that's my rant. You're, you're dying out there you need some food you know you do although they said it was day six. No, was it day six? I thought it was like nine or ten, no? No. I mean, either way. Someone, it said, oh, either. someone said day six, and I was like, day six? We were yeah. wasting beans at that point on San Juan del Sur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's too much it's too much it's johnny fairplay reality tv icon survivor hall of famer and i'm talking today about work money work money is a non-profit organization that focuses on lowering costs and raising incomes for all americans to make american life more affordable and American families more economically secure. They provide products, services, perks, benefits, tips, and tools to help members improve their financial lives.
It's time to level up and make more money in this economy. We're talking getting rich. Now, this sweepstakes is giving away $50,000. You can use this to pay your rent, your mortgage. Imagine what you can do with all the money that you'll save. Now, this is put on by work money, and this site has all these sick benefits, and it's free. Go sign up right now and get more rich. Now, listen, you can change your life. Now, what would you do if you didn't have to pay your rent or mortgage for a year? Listen, sign up right now for free. Link is available right here in the show notes. Check them out. Personally, I'd get more pinball machines. I'm Johnny Fairplay. I wouldn't lie about that. It's work money. More money. Um, okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, so, God, I don't even know where we are at this point. Um, the chickens. Okay, we're at the immunity challenge. Um, not a lot here. We already talked about Andy's we don't let's not go let's not revisit that because we're already uh, traumatized but yellow loses they go back to camp and this is an interesting situation because uh, did sierra right make the right decision that's what i'm asking myself after i finish the episode i'm thinking is going with sam the correct choice when you know that there is such a massive target on the both of you already i personally yeah think Sierra should have gone with the girls because you I had agree. multiple people from multiple tribes at different opportunities tell you that you two are seen as a pair. And once that's out there, there's no reversing it. it the, yeah. Perception is key. That is how people are perceiving you. I think getting rid of Sam would have been much better for Sierra. We're going to see, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. I I 100% agree. I think that she should have kept with the girls. Um, and when you have people, that's what their perception is, and they haven't even really engaged with you at all, but they're just seeing that you guys are running shit. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you can, oh, you can cut. Like, yeah, no, you can like say whatever you want. On, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I feel like that's a, like a fatal mistake, and that because who is who's her shield? If everyone thinks, like, who's her shield for her to divert and say, like, this is no, I'm actually working with this person or whatever. She, I, I don't think she has no, she has no plan B. She has nothing that she's going to be help her to pivot when she gets to the merge or she makes it to the merge. So it's, uh, yeah, I think that was a mistake. And she didn't feel good about it. She didn't want to pull, you know, so mm -hmm. she didn't want with her gut and said, she's going with Sam for like, what? You've known her for six days. Okay. What's your, go ahead. Uh, Jer uh oh, Jeremy. Oh no, I heard the sigh. Okay, okay. this is what I think. <laughs> Don't this agree with everything. It's fine. Uh, I, this is how I figure. I figure, uh, and there was a lot of this on Second Chance, Cal. There was a lot of like give and take. Like, so I'm like, I, I want you to go with my decision, but you know what? I'll go with your decision today as long as we can come back with my decision next time. So, like, if so, Tasha. No, but so, so that's totally different because you're not hearing from other tribes that people already see you as a, like a power couple, a super team. If if that's different, if people, if that's the way it is and you're just working with the, the person that's in your life. I'm just talking with those two though, with, with Sam and, and um, Sierra, Sam wants one, Sierra wants one. And they're, and they're both saying it's good for, it's good for their game, but it's not as good for my game. So I'm like, all right, they must be having this conversation. So like, if this is good for your game now, just remember, I need something good for my game next time. So I, that's how I figure. And Tasha was like, Tasha, we were talking about ta to Tasha. And I said, Tasha, I trust you. But, and I can't remember who it was for, who, who we were going after. But we were like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to get the girl, I, I don't want to have all girls at the end, and then you guys have a girl alliance. But at one point, I was like, "All right, it's good. It's not as good for me right now. It's better for you. So we will. I'll go with you, and I'll take out one of the guys. So we took out. I don't even remember who it was, but uh, we took out one of the guys at that one point, and it hurt for a second. But it was a lot of give and take. And I, and then I had the conversation uh, again. Who it was? Um. Um, it was Bledsoe. I had stinking, I had a conversation with him and we were going back and forth. And I'm like, you're not giving at all. Like we need to go back and forth. And, and like, I know it's not good for me right now, but 
It's not good for you right now. So we got to give and take. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I think that makes sense when you don't already know there's a target on your back and you already haven't heard. I mean, Sam, he knew that they, they're they talking about them and this is the perception of them. That's different if you're flying under the radar in your alliance. But they're not flying under the radar in their alliance. It's blatantly obvious. And they're still deciding to band together and not. And she's, she's not thinking of another option. No, I mean, I get it. But I still think that there is give and take. And... Yeah. Someone has to give at one point, and that, and that, and they she gave this time, and I think he he might give next time. You know what I mean? Cal. Okay, may I add something here because I now I am siding with Val on this one. However, see this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This all girl alliance thing. This no, I'm, I, gonna, this I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, I. I do understand what you're saying. There is a lot of give and take in Survivor. There's a lot of give and take in alliances. If you think you're going to get your way every time, <clears throat> Rome, it's not going to always happen. Okay, yes. so you have to. You do have to step back sometimes, and you have to step up sometimes. Yes. However, the situation but... you're describing is different, like Val's saying, because th you're talking about situations where pretty much we were already at the merge. And I think that there, it's just so different at that point. Like Val is saying, there are people that are not even on your tribe, have never even had a conversation with you. Don't even know the dynamics of the tribe that are already saying those two are together. That's a problem. And I, so I don't think it really matters for Sierra in the give and take situation, because I think that her giving I think it's just all around bad. Now, listen, she could get to the end of win and everyone could be like, yeah, Kelly, you were wrong. And that's fine. But I think in this situation, if I was Sierra, you're not even that close to Andy. Andy's actually closer to Sam. There's really no benefit to you in this situation. I think she should have gone with the girls. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And I love your opinion, Jeremy. So I'm not, listen, we don't have to be right. We don't have to agree. That's just how I personally but right. but, perceive it. But we, but we are right. Kelly and I But, are but right. we are right. But we are right. The anatomy. <laughs> What I'm saying right now is if we're out on an island and that's two different times you guys ganged up on me, <laughs> I'm going somewhere else. I'm out of here. And one of you guys are going home. <laughs> it's, I think it's just really different when there's already that target. And I don't think maybe she has a plan on how she's going to pivot after, after that. But, I mean, you know, she... I think that she's she should realize too that she could possibly be on the out and that Sam and Andy will jump together at you know that she's that, exactly that's my point. Is Andy who's Andy's number one? He has no number one. He's he's basically a, a transient. You know, like he. It, but Sam, yeah, he wants yeah he wants to be with Sam's number one, mm -hmm. uh, and he'll do whatever Sam says. Yeah, but Jeremy is not having it. Jeremy's gonna walk no, out on us I'm here not, pretty soon if. <laughs> I'm a, yeah. I'm a free agent now. What did you guys? What? Yeah, Rachel. I mean, if Rachel what did decide you? That, you know, that's that Sierra's not with her, yeah. and she's better off to jump in with Sam. And then who does? Because Sierra backed up her away from the girls. What? what? If if I don't unfollow. So so if Rachel. Because now Rachel's at the bottom, because Rachel was with was out was on the outs. She didn't know. She didn't know that they're all voting that way. Rachel's not going to go with the boys though. What do you think? Then who's she going with? She's she'll, she'll stick with with uh, Sam uh, with um, Sierra. Mm, we'll see. She could, she couldn't, but I'm just saying it leaves less room, I think, for Sierra to pivot when people think that she's with Sam and now she's um, also alienated Rachel, yeah. possibly. I agree because I think, and they don't know a merge is coming, but they don't know the merge is next week, but they know it's coming. You have to remember too, that Rachel went to that reward and it looked like she was making relationships with Caroline and who else was she talking to? Teeny? I don't remember, but I think that she has like, I think. Oh yeah. I it was think uh, that Rachel Teeny now you kind of alienated her in a way where she's already started building relationships. Huh. And I just think for Sierra, it just, you never want to be in a duo. No, you don't. Yeah. No. They should we're she should in, stop pulling in a duo. Anyway. It's just yeah. it's an um, It's a tough hole to crack yeah. to so, that 
It is. It is. Now, what about Andy? How did you feel about Andy and his, he says he has this brilliant plan that this is all his, he's going to pretend like, you know, he's needing somebody. Obviously the girls don't know that he's already in with Sam and Sierra. He, you know, he says that I'm going to let them come to me with a name, which I mean, that's what you should do in his position. Mm -hmm. Like obviously the girls think he's on the bottom. So I do think it was a good plan, but I don't think it was as like, brilliant as he thought it was it was good gameplay i think that's what you have to do in that situation but yeah i think i think anything from andy right now is like is gold right now because he (laughs) he looks so bad at the bottom at the beginning of the game he looks so bad so anything he does i'm like all right we'll take it like this is this is good for you you know (laughs) <laughs> good job andy yeah yeah <laughs> i am i am as a as a viewer i am proud i am proud of him i am proud of him you know i think I am, I'm, he's yeah. hilarious right. television yeah and i you know I'm, I'm, i think he did start he realized oh lord i've had a bad 24 hours 48 hours i need to figure this out it seems like he was slowly digging himself out of that and it paid off so you have to give him props he even looks different. Like at the beginning, his hair was all crazy, and now his hair's pulled back, and he has his glasses on. And I'm like, yo, like he looks like a different player. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> really interested to see how he how he settled he in. Acts if he, yeah, if he can hold it together when you know when the merge happens, and then who he's. I know because once the merge happens, you know it's the game starts all over again. Exactly. So that's when you, he could the, the glasses come <laughs> off and the hair gets crazy again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but if he if he's if he's settled in and he and he can maintain, I, I think he'll go far. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I yeah, I agree with that because I think when you look at the board, he's so non-threatening in a merge situation. There are so many other people that you would want to target. I could see him going very far at this point now that he's made yeah, it past yeah, that yeah. initial hump. I think that he he could get really deep in the game. Sorry. Yeah. It's, I just picture him in that pool. Um, <laughs> Stop doing that. Stop doing that. <laughs> it's a really hard image to remove from your brain once you've seen it. It's really bad. <laughs> All right. So let's talk. Let's talk tribal council. That's kind of the last part. We we touched on it beginning of the episode, and so it's a good way to end it. We're we're making it full circle. Wow. Uh, gosh. Annika, again, you could tell throughout the tribal council, she felt very confident. Like you could just see it. You can tell with people when they're talking and you're watching the episode that, you know, like, oh God, this is, this is not going to be good. And she didn't have her vote on top of it. Although she still got her little dig in, uh, in the, in the voting booth. So it's like, listen, girl, at least you got one last word. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, we, we touched on it, but like it, it's it's a tough way to go. But I feel like everybody should feel like that at one point. I really. I do. mean, I just feel like she was. I don't. I haven't seen anyone cry that much in in uh, at the end. Yeah. And oh, well, no, I don't even. I can't even think of someone off the top of my head. Like people look shocked and they, you know, are pissed. Uh, but she was like, "Who's owning this?" Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And she's calling people out as she's walking mm-hmm. out and. You know, most yeah, people, even I when they're know. like, oh, I got, got, you know, they got me. They're like, good luck, everyone. She was having none of it. She's yeah. calling people yeah. out. She doesn't want to say goodbye. And then she's, I mean, it was like emo- all the emotions, you know, not that I blame her, but I'm just, I don't think we've seen that in a while. Well, so what was, so Sam just didn't trust her? Is that what the deal was? Like she didn't do anything technically wrong in the game though, right? It was just Sam didn't trust her. Well, I think if we think back to previous episodes, they had been butting heads a little bit. If you remember when she was kind of like, oh, cut the rope this way and do this and the the a bamboo. And so I think it's kind of been bubbling up where they just were never, I think Sam probably thought we're never going to work together. We're just not going to be on the same page he probably saw he now knows that the three girls are working together or they believe they're working together i think it just of really would have been rachel or annika i think annika was the one that he just didn't if i'm guessing i think he thought i just never gonna really work but i i think 
I really felt for Annika and I really believe she was going through like the stages of grief right in front of us. And that was the craziest part about it is you could see her like, oh my God, the shock. And then it was kind of yeah. the acceptance. And then it was the, oh my God, like it just was so crazy. Yeah. And Arlen's going, why is she walking down the path? He's like, why is she crying? I'm like, cause she's devastated. Like until you played Survivor <laughs> and you're putting your whole heart, your heart and soul into it. Yeah. And, and if you know you're getting votes, at least, at least you can kind of prepare yourself. Like you go into a tribal and you're going, well, I, I know I'm on the bottom or I know people have said my name or yeah. this could be me yeah. tonight. But when you go in completely believing that you're fine yeah. and then your name comes up and you see that second vote and then you hear Jeff say fifth person voted out, you're just like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. Dreams are crushed. Yeah. Mind blown. Dreams are crushed. Not only are you out of the game, but you're sitting there going, what did I miss? Who lied to what me? You I feel miss? betrayed. There's just, it's like, there's so, it's the list of emotions is just, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It, thus, that's why I think everybody should go through that. What? I just. Jeremy, is that because you think it teaches you something? It does. It's, it's, it's a lesson. A lesson. It really does. Just the, it yeah, the, to be humble and yeah. Okay. And, and, yeah. and even That's just in the game, like, I feel like if I didn't go through that, like, if, if I won, say I won, say one does, sir. And we went back and second chance, we all played second chance, you know, second chances, whatever, right? I'm not playing the but same way. But you wouldn't way. have played second you chance. Know? I know, I know, I know, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, if Second Chance was a different name, you know what I mean? But, like, I just wouldn't play the same, you know what I mean? You just, like, I felt like I was just, like, I, I had so much on me in the first time I played, and then the second time I was like, yo, like, I'm just having fun. I'm letting Juicy J go, you know what I mean? I'm just watching everybody chase yeah. Juicy J. Like, oh, oh, you want to go with them? All right, we'll go with them today, you know what I mean? Like, I, it was just so easy, because I was just like, like, but I think people can probably get the same type of awakening if they are an alliance, if they get at the bottom, if that, you know, that's why we always say like, oh, Survivor loves the underdog, because I don't think it necessarily has to be that you're voted out together. I think that if you're in an alliance, your alliance, you start, I mean, what our tribe lost like every- I know, I'm not saying that's the only way. way. I'm just saying like, I feel like this is a, a, a good way that everybody kind of learns their lesson about the game, like you, you can go through a lot of different stuff on Survivor, but like when you go through that, like that, it, everything's like full circle when you. But you know what? Also, too, like you, so you're Sam Malnosor. You guys never went to tribal. You guys won all the time. So it's it took you forever to get to that humble pie moment, anyways. But like most people get that sooner, like because their tribes don't win all the time. They, you know what I mean. And women, a lot of times, are at the bottom, and they are the first voted out. So I think that's that's also a piece of it, like. You guys want a lot, you're a man, and women often are targets from the beginning. And when you're losing, you get humbled quick. But you're still in the game. Oh, that true, preach your girl. Okay, listen. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Which I think it's different. That's a different, that's a totally different all the time. When you're a guy, you go with a different set of like assurance that most women don't I know, go but you're having... still in the game. And, and what I'm saying is when your dreams are crushed and you're out of the game, I feel like that's when you really learn your lesson. You're not learning your lesson if you just keep losing and you're still in the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't agree with that. Let me guess, Kelly. You agree with her again. No, no, no. Hold on. Okay, listen. I mean, I do feel like the girls are like, we got a, we got a whole little alliance going on here. But I see I'm going to play middle. I'm going to play middle ground and say, I see both sides. I think that when you are the person that is directly voted out and blindsided, I do think it's a different feeling than when you're maybe an Alliance member is voted out because there is that kind of like, it's final, like you're voted out. There's nothing else you can do. Whereas if you are still in the game and it was an Alliance member that was blindsided, you still have hope. You can still kind of, you can course correct. You can figure out what you need to do. So I, I, I am seeing both sides of what you're saying, both of you. I see, I see, I see mm -hmm. it both ways. But she didn't. That's my politically correct answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not agreeing with anyone completely. I'm not agreeing with anyone completely, but I see both sides. It's only because you're pouting. She's even and that's, and that's what makes Survivor great, you know? <laughs> that's what makes Survivor great, y'all. 
Truly, yes. truly. Um, well, you guys, is there anything else you guys we miss in the episode? Anything else you want to say about the season, about Survivor, season 50? Any Anything else you got going on coming up? I mean, let me know. Now's the time. I thought it was a good season. I, I mean, I thought it was a good episode. I think I like this. I like this season so far. Well, I'm not in it as I like I used to be. I used to be so in so much into it and like like watching it faithfully. And now like, you know, I watch it like on a Thursday or Friday or something like that. You know, like so I'm I'm but I do enjoy the yeah. season. I'm having fun with the season. Yeah, I like this season too. I mean, I still don't like that it's shortened. I don't think I'll ever like that. I like long. I know. I yeah. feel like I I thirty nine days. Like, days. Thirty nine like, days. Thirty nine days you really days. get into like get to know people and you get to see their evolution a little bit better. Um, but I still love it. You should, um, you know, what you should do Kel. You should tell them to go back to 39 when you go on season 50. That's what you should tell them. That's what you should talk about. I, you know, what's so funny. I don't know why everyone is saying that I would go on. See, I'm not, I, I am 99% sure I would not get a call for season 50, but I appreciate you saying that. Um, I am curious what they're going to do for the theme. I'm very, very curious because I, they can either mess this up or they can get it right. So we're going to see. Yeah. I, I think that they get we're it right see. either way. I don't think they, how can they mess this up? They could, they got to get this for thing, right? They, there's no way you mess this up. How? Okay. Because here's my thing. It's season 50. I personally believe it should not be new era heavy. And that is my fear, is that it's going to be very new era heavy with cat contestants, castaways, whatever you want to call them. And that they're going to sprinkle in, I would say almost like a little bit like winners at war. Like I feel like there were a few really old school people and I just, it didn't really work. So I think it needs to be balanced. So I don't know, people have talked, I mean, everyone is speculating what it could be. People have tossed around the idea of doing like, old school versus new school versus new era, whatever it is. I just don't yeah. want it to be like 15, 40, you know, 41 to 49. And then it's like five people from before 41. Yeah. Like I just, I that's that where I'm saying kind of messed yeah. up, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I also want to see that's like kind the, of my, like some of the advantages. Like, I don't, I don't love, don't like the I don't like the overkill of advantages yeah. either. How much I agree. Some of it's just too, they're trying to get too creative. It's like, just go back to the basics. Yeah, too cute with it. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah too that's cute. I think. Too go back to the basics. Let, let's see people do their, how people's social game actually really works um, versus, I, I mean, I do like, um, I you know, idols hidden in challenges and stuff like that. I want to yeah, see that come. That was good. good. Um, but I'd like to one. see more of that stuff coming back than so many people losing their votes and having, you know, like, no. I don't know. I don't love it. I hate the losing your votes. I don't really like the shot in the dark. I know the shot in the dark has created a few great moments in the show, but you're right. It's just, yeah. there's so many things. It, it's, it just feels like you're almost gambling, right? Like you're just like, yeah. Oh God, I hope the number hits or I hope this happens. It's like, yeah. Oh my God. Like I, and it's hard for the audience to keep track of. I think that's where the last few seasons yeah. kind of lost yeah. me is that I just want to watch Survivor to like escape the world for an hour, just judge people, root for people, see how the votes <laughs> go. I don't need to be sitting there trying to like, I don't need to be like that meme where it's like um, uh, Galifianakis at the thing, like with the things wheeling around his head. Like I don't need, like I just, I just want fun television, right? And yeah. so I think that's, it. it is a little too much and it makes the game a little, it's just a it's just overboard. So I would like yeah. it if they toned it back, like you guys are saying. I think that'd be good. And I feel like too, when like when we have this, when there's so many advantages, you're forcing people to to play the game like in a way that they might not play it. And and why I don't like that, I feel like that should mm -hmm. happen towards the end because you're not allowing people to actually evolve their game and actually have to figure out and manipulate if they're going to manipulate or align if they're going to align. It's like they're forced to do it. Whereas if you have if you were if casting realized, hey, you know what, we have this cast is lame, you know what I mean, and no one's doing anything, then like throw that stuff in yeah, there, and force yeah. it. But like, don't force that mm -hmm. right from the beginning because you're like you're changing the whole like the whole the whole route of the show based on like throwing in five advantages or taking away votes when like someone might align differently. And that I would like this. I like seeing that. I think that it worked well for years. So like, pull it back, CBS. Yeah, yeah. 
Might yeah, pull it back. you're totally right. right. And that was what happened with Teeny, right? Like we saw Teeny said, oh, Rome has all these advantages. I feel forced to work with him. Would she have worked with him yeah. otherwise? Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. So that's a, yeah. that's a great example right there. Yeah. yeah. Plus there's a lot of luck now. It's like, who's going to go to yeah. the, yeah. who's going to go climb the mountain and who's going to get the thing and who's going to, it's like, yes. there's always been luck in Survivor and everyone knows there's always been luck in Survivor, mm -hmm. but why add more? Like to more your point, yeah. yes. let the players play. Let the yeah. relationship shake out. We don't need more advantages for the show to be more interesting, I think is the point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. We all agree on that. Yeah. No, we all agree. Agree. Good. We agree on it. Okay, good. All right, good. I love it. And <laughs> and never bring back Edge of Extinction, I swear. If you ever bring that back, then the show is actually no. dead to me. Yeah, it's yeah. dead. Awful. It's horrible. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> don't ever do it <laughs> but thanks for joining me you guys this was so fun i love seeing you i know we're so far across the country that it's so hard but if we ever get out that way uh i will i will let you know arlen does have family kind of out there so maybe we'll make a trip in the next year or so and we'll have yes, to see you guys. yes that would be great hey Ian, okay. i can't wait to see you on traders season four that would be amazing wait oh, are we Okay. If you want to start talking about traders, you better be careful, Jeremy. Because <laughs> you're opening up a whole can of worms here. I mean, listen, bring up that word to me and it's going to be over. No, I, in all seriousness, I would love to do traders. That That is probably one of my favorite shows that has come out recently. I don't know about you guys, but have you seen the UK versions? I've seen pieces of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I started watching the UK one and I was like, oh my God, this show is so fun. And so then when they brought it, when they brought Suri and some of those people in the first one, I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. Obviously season two, even better. Excited for season three. And so, <laughs> yes, I would do the Traders. That's one show where I'm like, that's a fun, that's like that. There's a lot of shows I wouldn't do, but Traders would be, Traders would be fun. So you listen, you never yeah. know. You never know. Listen, we were in bed watching. I was, we were, like, they called, they called me for a couple of shows here and there. And I was like, yo, don't call me. Like, leave me alone. Like, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> and we're in bed watching season two. And I, I leaned over to her. I was like, yo, I would do that. And she's like, what are you talking about? I was like, I would play this game. Like, this yeah, looks it fun. Looked, it, look, it is what's fun. That's what I think you would do. Wow. Kel, I got a call like I, the next day. It was wild. Shut up. Okay, I didn't know if we were talking about this. That's why I was trying to be a little secretive. I mean, I know it's out there. It's not like you're with. I'm just gonna open a can of worms. It's so fun. It's so you, fun. You need to wait. All right. We don't need to talk about it. We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> wait, but do you know? <laughs> I actually, can I ask you a question? Do you know? Do you know when yeah. it premieres? Uh, they, they said January. Do you know? I just said January. Okay, but there's That's no official date. But coming up. Nah. Okay. Okay. Good. So this is a plug, everyone. Uh, watch Trader yeah. season three. You know, you never know what faces you might see there. It so may be out there or not. I don't know. I don't want to like, blow, you know, blow anything up, but. <laughs> watch Trader season three. <laughs> just, just see Jeremy. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. All yes. right, you guys. Thank you so much. It was so good to see you. You too. All right. Girl. See ya.